Patrick Ryan, the editor of the New York Democrat, with me in studio. Welcome, Patrick. Good to see you as always. Good, 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 good to be you're here. Most, you're most yeah. welcome today. Yeah. And uh, you come to us on the day of publication. You come to us on the uh, on the day after the weekend of elections, elections, and elections. You're still standing. You're still able yes, to. Yes, yes. I was a very busy weekend. Um, not just with elections, we had the New York City Marathon as well. Of course, so it was, of course. It was, it was all systems go really in the mm. paper. Um, we also had um, Down were playing Tyrone on Saturday night, so it was... It that was, was a, busy it was time. A, it was a packed weekend. We had yes. over 15,000 down in Park Esther and a couple of thousand lying in the roads for the marathon. And then <laughs> we had um, people, thousands in and out of the polling stations as yes. well. So it was, yeah. it was all go this weekend. Newry, in, in all of these ways, I know the polling is cyclical, but uh, Newry seems to have come of, uh, come of age. We seem to be growing in our excellence as a city. Absolutely. There's... Um, every indication that you know things are on the up. Yeah. You know, um, the fact that we're sitting here now, uh, having, the having, world. A, having this forum, you yeah, know, a, a newspaper editor and a TV presenter, yeah. able to and see the, the world out there Mary, listening, watching and listening. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah, you know, absolutely. It just shows you. How? What sort of direction are you taking us today in your stories? Well, today I've, I've, we lead with um, the main story this week is the results of the elections. Um, mm. Obviously, it was the new super council that was mm -hmm. really the big talking point. Um, at the end of the day, um, everybody knows Nuria Moore has been twinned with Down Patrick. Yes. You know, so we have now got a situation where we the council is led by 14 Sinn Féin councillors and 14 SDLP councillors. Mm -hmm. Perhaps what's more interesting, in Rowan, is um, just locally the makeup of it, because obviously it's split up into wards. That um, Nuri's own Charlie Casey, he topped the poll. He did. And Nuri for, did. The, for the second election in a row. So very happy man he yeah, was over there. Absolutely, and um, I know he, you know, his team worked hard, and you know it's, I suppose it's a testament to the work mm -hmm. he's done in the community, you know. And so obviously everyone at the Democrat would like to congratulate him on top of the poll. Um, yes. But that wasn't the only story there though as well. There was. Um, we had um, a couple of independents as well. We had Davy Highland got in yes. uh, at the third count. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it was, it, I suppose it can be quite daunting when you're an independent councillor mm -hmm. and you don't have mm -hmm. a party machine behind you. Mm -hmm. So you're relying on the work of your, I suppose, your team and your, your activists. Your own team, yeah. yeah. You know, so and young Gary Stokes is back. That's right, yes. A Gary, young and yeah, yeah. vibrant councillor, very, very dedicated councillor. Yeah, counselor. It's very popular guy, yeah. you know. And he was uh, out for a few years yeah. there. I, th I think he'll bring something now, something mm -hmm. to, to, to the local area. Mm -hmm. And it's good that, you know, Nuri's so well represented. Because there's another, another issue that um, might be to the fore is where exactly the council is going to be based. Of course. Because mm -hmm. um, I know it's, it's hard enough getting journalists to go to a council meeting on a Monday night in Uri, never mind sending them to Dan Patrick. So if they had to do that. You know, that's, so, um, goodness gracious. Yeah. It reminds me of my early days in journalism 50 years ago, Patrick, mm -hmm. when uh, two or three of us would go off, Fabian Boyle, Mickey O'Rourke, and Rowan Hand. We'd go off in, a, in one of our cars and we'd go to the gig, wherever it was. We'd take our photographs, do our interviews, then come home again. We would invariably have travelled together in those days. It's another life, another uh, lifetime. A great sense Goodness. of camaraderie. Ah, oh, there was. Well, there, there. Sti there still is now. Um, there is, I see the folk out there all the time. The, the, journal, the, the journalists in Yuri now, to be honest, we all get along. I, um, yeah, it's good, it's good which is nice. Um, which is nice. Um, yeah, yeah, it is very good. Uh, the football at the weekend, disappointing for Down. Yeah, very disappointing. Didn't Whoa. go to plan at all. Um, and at half time, it looked as though they may have been able to make a fist of it. Yeah, I suppose half time came too soon. Perhaps mm, for them, absolutely. you know, just when, getting, yeah. when they were getting on top. Um, mm. Obviously, they didn't have a good start where they missed a penalty in the, in the first minute. Mm. But these things happen in football. You know, you you get on, you get on with it. Um, it just wasn't the beat. Tyrone were simply the better team on the day. Um, mm. They were. You know, they they played down in nearly every department. Yeah. Um, James James was saying in the in the Irish. You know, he was saying in your own paper today. Mm. Was it your own paper? I wonder if just uh, was it there? Yeah. Yes, he was. He was saying that the score line was cruel to to down. But I don't know. It's, uh, no, I, um, I think maybe he's he's putting on the brave know, face. Brave face. Thing, but I, yeah. I think I think it was uh, an accurate reflection of how the game panned out. It was like Tyrone could have had two or three more goals. Mm. Um, mm. Again. You know, 
people's opinions are just that opinions. Mm, opinions um, indeed. But you know, there's a thin line between winning and losing. And maybe yes, indeed. if a couple of Tyrone goals had went wide, or mm. you know, it's if the goalkeeper, the it would have been a different story. But word. that's not what happened, so you just have to deal with it. Yeah. Well, in 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 the Democrat today, Patrick, I have the greatest pleasure in bringing to the people Rowan's rambles in Rowan's. 70th week of life Very good. on the 29th yeah. of May I shall be 70 yeah. and my rambles deal with that today on being 70. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. not sure what the answers are but I I have a go at it anyway. Do, does there. it ever become clear? No I don't think so yeah. it's the it's the uncertainty of the voyage which makes it exciting I That's think it, yeah. where yeah. you are. Mm -hmm. But I must say, I don't feel like I'm 70. It doesn't feel that way you don't, at all. Do you, you, don't look, you don't look close. You're very it. kind to say that. It's, it's all good. So where are we going next, then, in um, the paper? Well, I suppose um, another big story this week was um, something we touched on last week, where um, Natasha McShane, where her um, assailant, yeah. for want of a better word, was in court in Chicago getting sentenced for his for the attack and he, he was well and truly sentenced 90 years yeah which you know it I suppose it shows the difference really and um, because a lot of the time people here um, commit murders yeah and get eight or nine years that's right and right. in America yeah. like you know and, and mm. I have no sympathy for the guy and he's, the woman he's, the, the woman, horrible thing he's done the woman the the woman uh, <laughs> who murdered dear mrs. Rankin in your mm -hmm. She's appealing, and she's uh, yes. she's sitting on, she's sitting on twenty years at the moment, and she's going for an appeal. Yeah. And they were saying twenty years is a huge sentence here. But similarly, you know, when they when they put you away in America, they put you away in oh, some yeah. style. Yeah, yeah. There's no messing there. Well, I suppose know. it depends really on on your view. Of this, um, I suppose, maybe we live in a more liberal mm. part of the world. Mm. Um, you know, there's I suppose like anything else, there's pros and cons that yeah. come with that. And having said that, Paddy, if you think about it, you know, America is a more violent country than we are absolutely and that's in spite of the draconian mm. yeah, uh, no, punitive it's... measures they've got there so it's a uh... yeah well again I, there's a whole argument about being, on, being the only western civilized or the only western country that has the death penalty yeah. and you know that problems come with that it, yeah. it's it's and it, how they're botching that it's clearly not a yeah. deterrent how they're making a mess of that with the trying new drugs to put people to you wouldn't yeah. do it to an animal but you know the vet you know Liam Fitzsimons over in Newry Veterinary Centre he can put a dog mm -hmm. down like that painlessly and properly mm -hmm. and we don't seem to be able to do that for a human being in America which is crazy. I know and, and you know you, you see YouTube videos of people criticizing Middle Eastern mm -hmm. countries for their oh, yeah. systems and yeah. you know we, we yeah. have like I suppose yeah. the world's leading light as it likes to call itself. Mm -hmm. Indeed. <laughs> indeed. Executing people. Indeed. indeed. Experimenting on them but yeah. Yeah. I suppose we're getting away from <laughs> Had you the uh, had you the services of Noel at the weekend, your photographer, or was he running? He was pounding the streets of New York. He was pounding the streets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, very good. He did under three hours in the New York Marathon. Did so, he indeed? Yeah, so. He's a great fellow, yeah. a very yeah. solid fellow, and it's, Fan it's nice. Fantastic achievement yep. there for him. Absolutely. Um, uh, we did, we did, speaking of the weekend, it was another busy weekend down at the Blues in the Bay Festival. Mm. Um, the weather didn't pan no. out like we'd have liked, but mm. at the same time it didn't stop people from enjoying themselves and we have a couple of pages in the paper now of, um, mm. covering the event and lots of smiling faces and um, yeah. people on stage bopping about with they guitars and whatnot. They loved, yeah. it. they loved yeah. it, they loved it. It was a, a grand weekend in Warren Point. Now that I'm 70, am I allowed to tell people that you were once upon a time my student? Of course, yeah. yeah. I'm allowed. I had the great privilege of of teaching Patrick at the Southern Regional College, which was Newry Institute in those days, and it was the B Take Media course we did there. That's some, yeah, yeah, something. And yeah, there yeah, were yeah. Uh, some other folk were in there as well. Brian Highland was yes, there, yeah. and uh, who else had we? But certainly that was it. Our Brian. sports editor, Steve Malone. And Steve Malone was yeah, there. Yeah. So, you know, we were we were a good team together. Mm -hmm. It worked well. There. Oh, it was a joy to yeah, teach definitely. you then, Patrick. Yeah. And it's a uh, uh, quiet man. I always said about you, you're sort of a thinker, uh, you know, the kind of man who, one way of you know, you, you would have been a man for in in the televisual world of uh, of Newsnight. You would have thought the thing through and come up with the the nuances of mm. intellectual approach. And that was the way. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not complaining about that. No, right. why would you? Why would you? Listen, thanks for coming in. No problem. And we'll problem. see you again next week, shall Absolutely, we? Absolutely, Ron. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. We'll play you some music now. Great. Take care. Yes, my pleasure.